uh, I want to talk about today a problem that is very close to the home for all of us. And that uh, question starts off with our electricity usage. So if you consider your typical utility bills, uh, what happens is an individual comes to your home, collects that data, and you once a month receive a total snapshot of your aggregate energy usage over the course of that past month. Now, utilities are starting to change the way that they address this, this sort of an issue. And they're starting to change over the meters that are on individuals' houses and making them smart. So what you're now able to do is transmit the data that this one individual would come and collect on a much more frequent basis. So upwards of once per second for some of the newer smart meters that are being installed. This opens up a world of opportunities. One of the things that you can start doing is take this time series output data that's coming from these smart meters. So this is time series data of power readings. And put this through a disaggregation algorithm that uses machine learning techniques to break down that power signature into individual appliance level insight. So you can then say, OK, well, how much energy is going to my lighting? How much is going to computers, TVs, cooking, uh, refrigeration, washer, dryer, and air conditioning? And now, with that information, consumers and commercial customers can then try to find ways of, A, identifying what devices that they use that are consuming the most energy, and then using ways of remediating those issues. So what does this look like in terms of what we're doing? Uh, this plot shows on the x-axis uh, hours of the day, on the y-axis power. So this basically is smart meter output data from one home. And you look at this and you say, OK, well, this is kind of interesting. You can see that there are some points in the day where there's lots of energy being consumed. But what really does this mean? That's where the benefit of energy segregation comes in. You can break this down into individual device level information and start saying, seeing a story more so than just a single snapshot. So now you're saying, OK, in the morning, uh, you, know, you start making your bacon and eggs, open up your refrigerator, and you see your refrigeration use increases a bit there. In the afternoon, you see the oven is uh, cranking along there, so you're actually able to uh, identify when you know, people are using their, their stove and cooking a dishwasher, they're cleaning up afterwards. This is information that the consumer can use to say, OK, is my dishwasher now using more energy than the typical dishwasher? So there's a lot of interesting questions that can be addressed. One, uh, so this leads into a number of very uh, unique research questions which we are going to be addressing over the upcoming months. First, taking a look at these disaggregation algorithms and creating new statistical algorithms that will do this in a more efficient way, and perhaps in real time. Um, that leads into a second set of questions based on behavioral science questions. If you are able to report this information to consumers and commercial users in real time or near real time, what's the benefit of that in terms of achieving energy efficiency improvements? How can that save the consumer money and energy? Additionally, this leads to a number of very interesting questions related to um, pu public policy and rate structures for electricity, uh, electricity rates from public utility commissions and um, other organizations. So what we're going to do is actually use the university as an energy laboratory and partner with facilities management department, and Steve Palumbo in particular, to get data from individual buildings on campus to use as part of this project and use both on-campus facilities in the smart home as training data for our algorithms and as a way of uh, demonstrating the possibilities of this technology. So uh, as Richard had mentioned, we are actually operating through BAS connections. And we are forming a number of connections between facilities management, electrical computer engineering, Leslie Collins and Kenny Morton from there, uh, Nicholas School in the Environment, Tim Johnson and Richard are working on this project, myself. Uh, with the Energy Initiative and folks from the Smart Home. So uh, we're very excited about this project, and we'll be getting some students working on this um, in the upcoming months, and I think we're going to produce some great results. So thank you.